G'day, Arc Forest here. Today I will show you what makes a good DAW template. This can be useful for DAWs such as Ardour, Bitwig, Cubase, FL Studio, Pro Tools, Ableton and others. Firstly, I arrange the audio and MIDI tracks. I usually set a main recording track, two delayed stereo pan tracks and some extra tracks to store bad takes. The setup works for me since I really like to keep things simple and basic. As for the MIDI tracks, I always set up drums, bass, two distorted guitars, piano, strings and brass. Most of these are Odin 2 instruments. These are the bread and butter of my music. I will add extra instruments for a certain sound that I have an idea for. Since I have the foundations down, it makes it easy for me to write MIDI lines quickly. Secondly, I arrange the mixing and mastering. I typically have EQs and compressors on everything. These are generally important for my own sound, since I can more accurately layer each sound to create a better fit for mastering. I also have three reverb buses that are mono and pan left and right respectively. This helps me control reverb stereo field for different instruments and prevent the reverb itself from muddying my sound. It's very important. I don't have it in this template, but I also use delay for certain instruments and I will usually create another bus for it. The mixing is usually taken care of before the mastering phase. Once I reach the mastering phase, I use an EQ, a mid-side EQ for stereo imaging, a multi-band compressor, two compressors, a plugin called Refine, and then I top it off with a limiter which I just go hard with. The biggest pitfall I've come across with creating a template is my use of saturation plugins to boost the sound of individual instruments. What I found is that in my specific set situation, the saturation actually caused many of my instruments to distort more severely and less pleasantly when I boosted the limited threshold than when I didn't use saturation. I have faith in my saturationless setup to give me a beautiful sound that meets commercial loudness standards. Additionally, I recommend the use of a VU meter to help control your gain levels as you apply mixing effects to your instruments, even though I have not done that with this template. Along with what I have mentioned previously, I also create a sample track that reflects my typical sound between its most extreme and its least extreme. This is to test whether the template can make the intense moments, like the chorus, sound loud enough while not compromising the quieter parts by making them sound uglier. There's a fine balance with sound. You can even make your template out of an existing song you have written and arranged. Just duplicate the project and delete all MIDI and audio data in the second version to create your template. I use Ardour to write my music and create my templates. Ardour makes it really easy to create and use templates by just clicking a menu option. In contrast, FL Studio makes you copy the whole project files into a template folder, which wastes time. I don't know how templates are created in other DAWs, since I don't use other DAWs. If you enjoyed this video, I ask you to subscribe to my channel, join my mailing list at arcforest.net forward slash mailing list, and support me on LiberaPay. These links are down below. I'll see you next time. Bye.